How did you react when you first saw this? <laughs> no way! No way! <laughs> or when you heard Cap say this. Or when this happened. Oh my God! <laughs> or when you heard this. When you heard Tony say this. Oh, yes! I think it was yesterday that was the anniversary of the release of Endgame. And today is actually the anniversary that Avengers Infinity War came out. And I remember I was at the Regal LA Live because that's where we debuted my Avengers Infinity War uh, artwork, which you see here. Great memories for sure. And uh, this franchise, the MCU, MCU means a lot to me in my particular career and hopefully a lot to you as well. So I thought uh, today's video was a lot of fun in the live stream. They all wanted me to do a character fusion and I thought as a tribute uh, to uh, Avengers, I thought why don't we take the big three. Let's take the big three, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and what would happen if we mashed them together into one character. Okay, so starting off here, uh, I'm just sketching out what I want this character to look like, okay? Taking a lot of the elements uh, from all three. So very, very roughly, just very, very small as well. Uh, just looking at different aspects of the costume and deciding what I wanted there. For example, I wanted Iron Man's uh, little uh, heart there and the star. And of course, uh, Thor's uh, little uh, badges there. <laughs> what are those called? Those circle things. <laughs> there you go. The technical term. Th circle things. Also, the type of mask I want, and of course, I want I wanted this character to hold both hammers, as well as Captain America's shield, um, also a cape. So, you know, at this stage, just something very rough, just so I have a general idea of how I wanted this uh, particular character to look. And this is enough for me to go on, for sure. Um, I just wanted to do most of the designing on the board. But after this, what I really needed to do was try to figure out the pose. So here I really roughly sketched in uh, a pose and I wanted uh, this character to look off to the side. And here I'm trying to figure out how he's going to hold his ha the hammers. And doing a little sketch like this really helps in terms of how I'm going to organize uh, this particular character onto the board. And as you can see that line there, it's in the line of sight of another character. Uh, what I decided to do is this is going to be part one. Tomorrow's going to be part two and I'm gonna have this particular character fight a different character. So if you want to know what that, who that character is, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe to find out tomorrow who this particular character is fighting. But I wanted him to hold uh, the shield and of course uh, the two hammers and having him centered properly in the partic this particular piece. And once I was happy with that, now it's time to get drawn. So you're using the sketch as reference right now. I'm going ahead and roughing it out onto the board. Now, uh, if this was comic books, we would actually take a photocopier and blow that up and kind of trace the, um, the pose that we uh, did onto the board. No time for that, so I just quickly roughed it out and roughed in everything that I wanted to see uh, in this image here. So as you can see here, I have uh, Iron Man's visor, but I also really liked uh, Thor's braided beard. So I wanted to make sure that we had that going on there, as well as Captain America's, you know, helmet there. So you see the like the little wings that are imprinted, imprinted on the side. I wanted to make sure that that was uh, really there, as well as all the little details that we worked out uh, in the sketch here. Uh, so all the details that weren't there, for example, uh, the chainmail that's on his chest or the detail texture that was on his chest from Captain America, wanted that on there as well as the chainmail that's going to be on his arms. I wanted those to be there for sure. Uh, there I have Stormbreaker in the front, and uh, I wanted to have the shield there and make sure that it's the broken shield 
uh, as that is a big part of Endgame that had broken uh, Captain America's shield. The legs were pretty much an Iron Man legs, and uh, that was uh, pretty much enough to go on. And on, on the top there, he's holding um, Thor's hammer, uh, Mjolnir, 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 <laughs> there. <laughs> Mjolnir there, and then finishing off, finishing off the shield. So I roughly uh, did this with a, point, a 0.03 pen, and then I decided to go in and add the shadows. Okay, the, the big shadows, the highlights, as well as a thick outline uh, all around the character. And uh, making sure those shadows are consistent uh, with the lighting that I wanted. And the lighting I wanted was at the top right corner. And then after that, I would go in with a finer pen and then add in all of the little details. So just quickly done. And this was a lot of fun, hopefully capturing the essence of uh, all three of the characters who are all so important to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and um, you know wanted to, wanting to do this justice. So I was okay with how this turned out but I knew a lot of the design would be in the color. So here it is. This is uh, the black and white version of this particular character here. Uh, so, so far so good but I think from here on let's go to Photoshop and let's go ahead and add some color. Now it's time for the color uh, version of this and uh, live I, I was just doing the flatting which is just the flat color and I was just trying to figure out what colors I was going to add to this because I wanted a good mix of all three characters. Now unfortunately whenever I color sometimes a character would dominate more than others but uh, this one I feel was particularly balanced so I was really happy with the color here. And here it is. This is our final character after the finished color and all of the effects. A lot of fun to do. So as I mentioned, yes, it looks like this character is fighting someone. Who is this character battling? We're going to find out tomorrow, okay? So make sure you hit the bell so you know not only when I'm going live to actually draw this particular, char particular character, but also when this video will come out tomorrow. I want to know from you guys, what should we name this mashup? I would love to know what we should name this mashup. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, you could tweet me on uh, my social media at Box Office Artist or on Instagram. And uh, yeah, and maybe we'll put a poll up uh, near the end of the day today and we'll find out who you will vote as the name of this particular mashup and character. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Hit that like button, it will help so much. And share this video with any MCU fan. Speaking of the MCU and speaking of anniversaries, I'm having an anniversary too. Coming up this coming Friday, this Friday, May 1st, is my seventh year anniversary of the first video I uploaded on YouTube. That's right, seven years, I can't believe it. It was Iron Man 3, and because of that, we are going to do a very special live stream this coming Friday, this coming Friday, May 1st, starting at three o'clock in the morning, Eastern time, three o'clock in the morning, Eastern time, and we are going to go for 700 Minutes, okay, <laughs> not hours, minutes, which is roughly around 11 and a half hours. So it's really like a 12 hour live stream. So we're gonna go from three in the morning till three in the afternoon, and it's going to, going to be a lot of fun. And what I'm going to draw, uh, my good friend, uh, Mr. Mike Michael, he actually researched me uh, for me all of these different Iron Man uh, costumes throughout uh, the entirety of its comic book career. Okay, so throughout comics, he got me so many, oh, well over 100. Uh, for sure, I'm not gonna be able to draw 100, but we're gonna see how many I could actually draw within 700 minutes, and we're going to do that as a tribute, as a anniversary for this, uh, for my YouTube channel for being on here for seven years. Hopefully you could join me. Again, hit the bell. Hit the bell so you'll know when a video will come out and I'm actually going back to daily. I'm having so much fun, okay? And that, that's the hope that I can continue daily and it's been working out so far, having a lot of fun and actually creating with you. So hit the bell so you could draw along with me and uh, yeah, we're having a lot of fun together. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. My name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here saying keep drawing. I'll see you all next time.